Sarah from Japan. Welcome back to another prophetic read along. I'm sorry I haven't been around for a while. Um, we had some snow and it's been quite hectic, you know, s shoveling snow. Quite sore today. Um, it's, I had a nice three day weekend for a change and, um, you know, we, I was able to relax, which I never get to do. I mean, I, I'm a workaholic. I have three jobs now. And so it was nice that I got to actually take two days off and I was just resting. So that's why I haven't been around. But anyway, um, so let's get started on our read along. Okay, today we, we will be reading out of the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 21, and hopefully we'll get to 22. I've only got about mm, 10 minutes or so. I'm at school today, the kids are outside playing and they're throwing snowballs at each other and stuff. But uh, anyway, um, let's get started. So please open your books to uh, your Bibles to chapter 21 in the book of Ezekiel. Okay, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, sit thy face towards Jerusalem, and drop thy word toward the holy places, and prophesy against the land of Israel. And say to the land of Israel, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I am against thee. Wow, behold, I am against thee. We don't want the Lord against us, okay? And I will draw forth my sword out of his sheath, and will cut off thee, uh, cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked. Seeing then that I will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked, therefore shall my sword go forth out of his sheep, sorry, out of, out of his sheath, sorry, against all flesh, from the south to the north. I'm having a hard time talking. Verse 5, that all flesh may know that I, the Lord, have drawn forth my sword out of his sheath. It shall not return any more. Yikes. Okay. Sigh, therefore, thou son of man, with the breaking of thy loins, and with the bitterness sigh before their eyes. And it shall be, when they say unto thee, Wherefore sighest thou? What's wrong with you, that you're going to ask, you know? That thou shalt answer for, for the tidings, because it comes, and every heart shall melt, and all hands shall be feeble, and every spirit shall faint, and all knees shall be weak as water. Behold, it comes, and it shall be brought to pass, saith the Lord God. You see... Um, Ezekiel is talking about the judgment that's coming on to, uh, Jer to Jerusalem and to Israel. But, you know, there are many of us in this modern day that are feeling the same way. You know, we are we're sighing, you know, and there's, there, we can see things that are to come, you know. And, and people ask us, why, why, you know, what are you all worried about? What, you know, we're not really worried for us. We're not worried for us. We're worried for those who don't know the Lord, you know. Um, so... Why do you sigh? Why do you think about these things? Why don't you just lighten up and live, you know? But we, you see, we know what's going to happen. The Lord has told us, okay? And it's coming. And every heart will melt when it does happen, okay? And every hand will be feeble. And every spirit shall faint. If you are not in the Lord, this is what's going to be your, your, you know, what's going to happen to you, what's going to happen to your heart, okay? Your knees will be weak as water. Because it comes, and it shall be brought to pass, because the Lord says so. Okay, read Revelations. Judgment is coming. And it's already here to a certain extent, but I mean, it's going to be even, you know, worse. It's going to be unprecedented. Okay, so, you know, I hope that those who don't know the Lord, that they, I pray that they would come to Him, you, you know, because you don't know what's coming. I have friends who are seeing, you know, things, really scary things that, will make your heart melt, okay? And I know that it's true because I've seen uh, various uh, various reports on it happening throughout the internet, okay? Very trustworthy reports about what's coming down, you know? So it's going to go down here pretty soon, okay? I mean, did you know they've got a bunch of FEMA camps with plastic coffins ready for who? And they're shipping guillotines across the nation. For who? What are we shipping guillotines for anyway? Anyway, that's just part of what's going to go down. Now, these, that, that's just, that isn't even, you know, that's not even the tip of the iceberg. But anyway, back to verse 7. And it shall be when they say unto thee, oh, sorry, I already read that. Verse 8, then. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, Say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and is also furbished. It, sh it is sharpened to make a sore laughter. Uh, no, oh, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. One letter changes the toilet. Sorry. It is furbished that it may be, that it may glitter. So it's it's sharpened so that it gl it shines. It glitters. You know. Should we make? Should we then make mirth? It contemneth 
contemneth <laughs> the rod of my son is every tree, and he has given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Cry in hell, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh, because it, because it is a trial. And what if the sword contemns even the rod? Okay, it shall be no more, saith the Lord God. Thou, sorry, thou therefore, son of man, prophesy and smite hands, thine hands together, and let the sword be doubled the third time. The sword of the slain, it is the sword of the great men that are slain, which enters into their private cham chambers. And I have set the point of the sword against all their gates, and their heart may faint, and their ruins may be multiplied. Ah, it is made bright, it is wrapped up for the slaughter. Go thee one way or another, Okay, either on the right hand or on the left. I. あ、あの、あ、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
blow against thee in the fire of my wrath and deliver thee into the hand of the brutish men and skillful to, dis and skillful to destroy. Thou shalt be for the fuel to the fire. Thou blood shall be in the midst of the land. Thou shalt be no more remembered, for I, the Lord, have spoken it. Okay, so I don't have time to go on to chapter 22 because my children will be coming in to do, uh, for cleaning time. Okay, so with that, I bless you all in the mighty name of Yeshua Mashiach. Um, if you have a prayer request, please let it be known in the comments or send me a private message. I love you all. All right, one thing before I go, it's flu season, okay, and um, I'm hearing uh, actually a couple of cases where somebody actually passed away, perished because of this plague, okay. You could call it a, it's a pestilence, okay, it's a plague. And um, it's just some tips before I go, before the kids come in. Um, please pray Psalms 91 every day over your family, over yourself, okay, over all your loved ones, P pray. Psalm 91, uh, and sometimes I pray twice a day, like when I go home, too, as well. But also, too, there's some other things that you can do. You need to gargle, okay? Uh, we use iodine when we gargle, okay? Liquid red iodine. And um, in Japan, the Japanese are very good at wearing masks, okay? So this is what, you know, you can get these here. They're paper masks, and they're 99% um, germ. They cut germs by that much, anyway. But anyway... So we use these anyway, but uh, I am an English teacher, so like, unlike the other teachers, I can't really, they look at my mouth to learn English. So um, I have this type of mask that's interesting. This is a mask, no kidding. Okay, this is a uh, germ, wills, uh, not wills, but virus mask, a viral mask. And you just uh, take this on your finger. This is really interesting. So I might send this to some people in the States, some family members and stuff. And you just put that like this, and you cover your nose. They actually have a mouth uh, mask for your mouth as well. It's a spray mask where you spray inside your mouth. But I didn't get it yesterday because it had it said it had some chemicals and it had the letters that scared me the most DNA. Okay, that that you know that just doesn't work. But you know I just uh, I'm not going to buy something. I'm not going to put something in my mouth that says DNA. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, this is kind of nifty. You can use this 150 times. It's a mask. You know, for, for people like me that can't cover their mouth, you know, when they're teaching. But um, when I don't have class, I wear one of these. Also, too, um, this is my liquid wipes. This is alcohol, okay? And this is my alcohol spray. This is my alcohol spray. And for those of you who are living in Japan, and I might get this from for some people if I can ship it. I don't know. It depends on, you know, lately they've been very strict. You can't send anything with batteries in it. And you can't send certain kind of chemicals on the airplane, like... Because it'll, it could be, you know, a fire hazard. But I don't know about alcohol. And, you know, but now with the terrorist things, too, you know, they're very, very um, particular about what you send. But anyway, they have these little tiny um, packets of just one-time only um, alcohol for your hands. Sanitizing alcohol for your hands. And they come in like little, you know, you get like little ketchup packets or, or, or you know, like that. Or you just, uh, you just... They come in little packets, and you just squeeze, and the middle part splits open, and you just rub, rub your hands with that. I put that in my uh, children's school bag for them, so that before they eat lunch, um, they have, are supposed to wash their hands. But, you know, in Japan, they don't have any running hot water. They do not have hot water in Japan for schools. And so it's freezing cold water. I mean, it's like ice water. And the kids, like, they only wash, like, their fingertips if they wash their hands at all. So I put those in there for them to rub. So um, just be really careful, okay? Make sure that um, you take care of yourself. Eat right, sleep right, um, exercise. Um, try not to get too overstressed. Um, keep yourself clean. I mean, just basic things. And sanitizing, you know? But, um... But most importantly, pray for Psalms 90, pray Psalms 91 over, and trust in God to keep you from this pestilence. All right, with that said, I love you all. I'm out. Bye.